Hi everyone, I'm back. Today I'd like to share with all of you a little history. We all know of Papermate. Chances are you have one in your pencil case right now. But how did we get there? Was it always Papermate? I'll answer these questions and show you the progression from pre-World War II to the present day of the Papermate brand with a few pencils as my guides. In the very, very beginning, we have a company called Eagle. Now, I don't have any com any pencils from the very, very early days of Eagle. I'm talking like 1900s. But I do have here some pencils from pre-World War II, the Eagle Mikado. After World War II, the name of this pencil was changed to the Eagle Murado to avoid any ties with Japanese nomenclature. But as you can see here, we've got Eagle Pencil Company, New York, USA, written right on the top with an eagle and then the eagle Mikado name and of course if I put in the light a little bit let's see if it shows up you've got the ubiquitous red band on the ferrule it was known as the yellow pencil with the red band in early advertisements and this red band can be seen as pretty much the link between pencils from this time period to the present day later on you see a progression to the eagle Murado now these are small stubs, I apologize, but I hope this shows up. You've got Murado written here, and you can see the remnants near my fingers, so it says Kemi Sealed. Let's see. Hmm, focus, focus. Yep. Kemi Sealed, Murado, you know, you've got it right there. And of course you have the red band, and it's got a patent number on the back as well. Moving right along, we've got another Murado, and then here we have a major font change and name change. Ah, well, it's not really name change, but it's got Eagle Murado. You can see the E in Eagle, and the font just changes, you know? And then finally over here, we've got the Barrel Murado, which is a newer version of the Eagle Murado, and we move on to the Sanford Murado which is the direct predecessor to today's Paper Mate Murado Classic. I mean, see, you can see the Sanford, you can see the Murado, and you can see the red band. And right over here, we've got the Paper Mate Murado Classic. Of course, this is an older version. It says USA on there. Uh, newer ones, as you all may know, are made in Mexico since Paper Mate moved all of their production to Mexico in around 2009. Now you may have noticed the second pencil over here, the Papermate Murado Black Warrior. Nowadays, of course, it's not known as the Papermate Murado Black Warrior, but merely Murado Black Warrior is marked on the pencil and we've got two hearts on the top. This one was made for a short time, I believe in around 2009 or 10, and it's got, of course, the red band to link it with the Murado brand. How do we get to here? Let's see. Now I have this box of Murado uh, I guess not Murado, no, Bla Eagle Black Warrior Pencils. But on the back here, you can see it says Barrel, which, as you remember from this pencil right over here, is later than all these Eagle pencils we've got. So it says Eagle Black Warrior on the pencil, but it's actually made by a Barrel Corporation. That can get a little confusing. So here we have a couple pencils from that box. Eagle Black Warrior, you can see. It's gold printed and it's very, very high quality. You've got the red band again. And on the back, it's embossed so you wouldn't really be able to see it unless it's reflected. Let's see. Well, there's writing on there. You're going to have to trust me. It says Kemi Sealed Made in USA. And it's also got a patent number on the back. Now, the next one I happen to own in this series is the Murado Black Warrior. This one, I think, is from the 80s or 90s. It's not marked with any paper mates or... Sanfords or barrels or anything like that, but it's got the red band. And I think I might have seen a box of these once upon a time, you know, and it's got either Sanford or barrel on there, one of the two. And so there, from there, we get to the current Murado Black Warrior, you know? Another pencil that I haven't seen around in a while is the Paper Mate Murado Wood Tone. Judging from the printing and the red band, and the brand name. I'm placing it in this time period with these other two pencils, but I'm not totally sure. All right, now that we got the Black Warrior and the, you know, the Murado series out of the way, let's see 
about the Prismacolor erasable pe color pencils. You know, Prismacolor, as you can see with this over here, is a very, very popular brand of drawing pencils sold here. Now this example, of course, is from a little bit, a little while ago, as you can see, maybe it's got USA embossed on the tip. Uh, but it's a Prismacolor turquoise, and again, it's got the red band. This is the latest incarnation of many, many drawing pencils. Now I also have an Eagle turquoise over here, which may appear to be a descendant of our Prismacolor turquoise over there, and it's got a barrel name over here. But I don't think the turquoise series for me is the best way to illustrate this, because I've got way more of a series called the Verithin, the Prismacolor Verithin. Now, over here, we've got the Eagle Verithin. It's got Kemi Sealed written on it, and of course, it's got the red band. Although, I'm pretty sure this was made during World War II because this cap doesn't look like it's metal, it looks like it's just painted wood. Later on, we've got the metal cap again with the Eagle Verithin, Carmine Red. It's got the same model number, 745, as the previous one. Okay. But now, we have the Eagle Verithin Color Offs, which are the erasable variety, which I have dating to about the present day, let's say maybe 10 or 15 years ago. Now you got the Eagle Verithin Color Off right here, model number 1745. Interestingly enough, it's 1745. The Eagle Verithin regular one is 745. Interesting, interesting. So you've got that one. Next, which I believe to be the second, or I guess another descendant, is the Venus Cull Erase. Now I'm pretty sure there's something that came in between this one and the Verithin Color Off, but this is the next one I have in the progression. You've got the e Venus Color Erase, you've got a blue band now, which changed, I'm not sure why, but it's still got the same name, Carmine Red. And now you have the Sanford Color Erase, which is pretty new considering. It's got USA embossed on it and it's still Carmine Red. Nowadays if you go to a Michaels or a Blick you'll see you know Prismacolor Verithins and Prismacolor Verithin Color Offs or Color Races, I guess Prismacolor Color Races which are pretty much the exact same thing just with a different name. Now to make things even more confusing, Barrel also released a plastic pencil known as the Barrel Eagle. Now how's that for confusing for you? It's got this pink color which clues you in that it's actually made of plastic, it's not made of wood. And I'm pretty sure this was made in the early 90s because later on in the later 90s, Sanford, which is the current was the current version at the time of Barrel, came up with the Sanford Eagle. Nowadays, there's a pen available called the Papermate Eagle, which, I mean, that makes stuff pretty confusing, but it has nothing to do with these pencils other than the fact that it is a Papermate. And, of course, in the 90s, we had another merger, which was with Eberhard Faber. Over here, you can see an Eberhard Faber American, which has no connection to Faber-Castell. That's a totally different brand. They were both brothers, but one of them came to America and started a pencil company called Eberhard Faber. Now you have this Eberhard Faber American. Note the color and note the name. Sanford, when it bought Eberhard Faber, released the American again under its own name. As you can see, the color of these two pencils is identical, and the name of the pencil, apart from the brand name, is identical. And when Sanford was bought by Papermate, Papermate released a pencil called the Papermate American. Now this one, of course, there's a huge color change and it's got blue foil stamping, but it's the same pencil with a different name. And if you look very closely, I'll move these over here real quick. All right, let's lift them. You can see that the ferrules designs are pretty much identical which clues you in that this is a merger that happened. And later on when they stopped making them in America, Papermate released the 
American as the classic. Interestingly enough, the font on this classic over here is the same as the font on the Papermate Murado classic. And another example of this Eberhard Faber merger is the Eberhard Faber Eco Write, Eco Writer, I guess, Eco Writer. And I guess this was made with more environmentally friendly techniques because it is Eco Writer. Then when Sanford bought it over, they released it as the Earth Write, which is a slightly different name, but it's got the same texture of uh, paint, and it's got the same ferrule and the same color eraser. Later on, Papermate released another pencil with the same exact font as Earthrite, and I think it's actually called the Ecorite. And now for a final, you know, sort of goodie at the end. Here's a pencil I found at school once. It's called the Eagle Electronic Scorer and it's got this red band over here so you know it's legit and it's got a pretty wide core if you can see that nicely it's got a pretty wide core and the lead in this thing is just fantastic as the name implies it was used for scantrons you know electronically scored scantrons hence the electronic scorer moniker and so as you can see this history of Eagle, Barrel, Sanford, Papermate. It's kind of confusing, but I hope I shed a little bit of light onto this subject. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.